Let's face it, built-in microphones on most cameras suck. If you're using them, your audio probably sounds terrible. One way to fix this is to get a dedicated mic and plug that into your camera. But even then, depending on your camera's placement, your audio might still sound bad. The best way to get good audio is to use a dedicated microphone plugged into an audio recorder such as a Zoom H1N and place a microphone as close as possible to the sound source. The problem is, you end up with two separate files, a video file and an audio file that you have to perfectly line up and post. Fortunately, there's an easy way to perfectly sync your external audio to your video in Final Cut Pro and today we'll take a look at how it's done. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll take a look at a couple ways to perfectly sync your video and audio in Final Cut Pro. Before we get started, there's a few things to keep in mind when filming that makes this process much easier. First, recording audio on your camera, no matter how bad it sounds, can be very helpful. If your camera is capable of recording audio, make sure that's enabled. Second, if you record multiple takes, either use a clapperboard and write down the take number on it, or if you don't have one, say the number right when you start recording. If you have a large number of clips, this will save you a lot of time trying to pair the correct audio file with your video clip. And last, if your camera doesn't record audio, or if it's placed too far away to pick up the audio, either start or end your clip with a distinct gesture, such as clapping your hands. This way, you'll be able to line up the waveform with the action in your video to perfectly line up your audio and video. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro and take a look at how to sync your audio and video. The simplest way to sync audio and video is to let Final Cut Pro sync your clips for you. In order to do this, your video file needs to have sound. First, locate the video and audio clips you want to sync in the media browser. Hold down the command key and click on each clip to select them both. Right click on either one of these clips and select synchronize clips. This will create a new clip in your browser, so give it a name and select the event you want this new clip to go in. Next, since we have audio on both clips, select the Use Audio for Synchronization checkbox, and because the audio recorded on your camera is only for reference and we're not using it, select the Disable Audio Components on AV Clips checkbox. Click OK. Final Cut Pro will analyze the audio waveforms on both your clips, line them up perfectly, disable the audio in your video clip, and create a new clip with your external audio perfectly synced to your video clip. The new clip in your browser will also have a link icon in the top left corner to identify the synchronized clip. Add and edit the synchronized clip in your timeline just like you would any other clip. Let's compare the in-camera audio to the external audio just to see how much better it sounds. Take one. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Take one. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. A quick tip. You can hide the two original clips so you don't accidentally use them by command clicking both clips and press and delete on your keyboard. This marks these clips as rejected with a red line near the top of the clip. It doesn't delete the clip, just marks them as rejected. You can now easily hide these rejected clips by selecting Hide Rejected Clips from the drop down menu at the top of the media browser, or by using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl H. This hides your original clips from your media browser so you don't accidentally use one of them in your project. Next, let's take a look at how to sync your external audio to video that doesn't have sound. This is where using a clapper board or clapping your hands comes in really useful. Let's grab our video clip and drop it into the timeline. Next, select your audio clip and drag and drop it under your video clip. Skim your video clip and place a playhead right on the action in your clip. In my example, a frame where my hands come together. From the clip appearance menu, select the audio waveforms view and find the spike in your audio clip. Move the audio clip until a spike lines up with the playhead. Zoom right in on your timeline and line up a spike in the waveform as close as you can. Play back your clip and watch and listen. You might have to move the audio ahead or back a bit to line it up perfectly. Once you're happy with it, select both clips and press Option G to combine them into a compound clip. Trim off the reference clap and your clip is ready for editing in your timeline. So there you go. Two simple ways to sync your video and audio in Final Cut Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next week.